in this module, I will give an introduction to the cell biology course. We will begin our journey with atoms. We will look at the structure of atoms and we will see what different type of bonds these atoms make with, the, uh, with other atoms. We will also see how these atoms and how these bonds uh, contribute to larger biologically significant molecules. There is a group of four, these, there is a group of molecules which, is, which perform specific functions in the cell. Then we will look at cellular functions. One of the primary function of life is to propagate itself. This is one of the most important features of, of life. We will see how genetic information is transmitted from one generation to the next at cellular level and also at organism level. We will also look at how cells are able to perform specific functions. This ability of cells to perform specific functions within an organism is very important. We know that all, all multicellular organisms come from a single cell. There are thousands of different cells in body of an organism which are, uh, which are performing a unique function. Although these cells have same genetic information, but these cells regulate their function, their genetic information, so they can perform a specific function. Another very important aspect of cell biology is cell communication. How cells communicate with each other because cells within an organism depend upon function of other cells. We will also look at applied cell biology. We will see the information we will learn during this course, how we can, we can use this information to solve problems in biology, how this information is used in developing therapies for diseases, for example, and how we can progress this, uh, how we can use this information in progression of medicine and human health. Basically, the course objective is, I would like my audience, my students, to understand the molecular logic of the living state. Basically, which implies how a molecule's function arises from its structure. All molecules have a specific structure and the, the information is carried within the structure of these molecules. How this information is conveyed to the other rest of the cellular machinery, to the other molecules within the cell, and this information, how this information can be used to solve different problems in cell biology and also in medicine. 